Hello everybody, welcome back to RC on Track. What are we on track with? We are on track with this thing. So it's a Tamiya Indy Racer. And I fitted the battery in it the other day because it came with this one here. And this battery <laughs> looks like it's from the 80s, just from the just from the graphics on it. Um, so I put a Novik battery, fits in the box, it's actually going to make the car way lighter. It can power this brush motor. We're going to change out the receiver and we're going to put a speed control in it and see what this little car can actually do still. This is just proving to everybody out there that the dusty stuff can be upgraded and made fun again. And that's what this video is about. Um, after we get it going we'll go ahead and throw it on the floor do some donuts with it and stuff and just kind of see how it performs um this thing's probably like i don't know 25 35 years old maybe it's pretty old but after we run it of course um this will be a shelf car that i'll just put up because i don't want to break it and then have to locate parts that you probably can't find anymore so with that being said We'll get started with this. Let me just grab a couple things. All right, you guys, if you only knew how long that took, you would have definitely skipped over this video. All right, so we've got this waterproof. What is that? 3S LiPo. Nine volt three amp. What? Nine volt three amp. Oh, uh, sixty amps. Excuse me. And then we have a Gould RC motor, and it is a thirty five hundred kV, thirty six fifty. We're gonna put this. <coughs> We're gonna put this in the dusty stuff, <coughs> like literally dusty stuff. Let's get rid of these zip ties. Holding this stuff down like that. Now this is just to show you kiddos how to get something old and make it fun. Yes, I can use this stuff. Do I want to? Not really. Because um, it's old. And I want it to be brushless, and I want it to go fast. I might turn it into a drift car still. I don't know. So, as long as you guys stay tuned to my channel, you'll see what goes on with this little thing. I think that I lost my Phillips screwdriver that I'm looking for. I actually know a guy that would just go nuts watching me do this. If he subscribed to my channel, he's, he's going to have an upset stomach. I'm not too sure if that uh, gear's got the same pitch. I might have to change out the motor, the gear on the motor. That the brake. There we go. All right. We'll be running this car in a couple of minutes. It looks like. So here's the old motor. I mean, it's got some metal stuck in it. Feels good. Aluminum gear to plastic to open differential. All right. 
So, what I do with this old stuff is I throw it in a box of old stuff, my graveyard, and, you know, if somebody needs me to restore one of their old cars, I got parts that you can't get. Unless you go shopping on eBay. Which is a good place to get parts. Let's see if we're going to get a good fit with this pitch. Oh yeah. It actually fits nicely. But... I think the gear is too... Too skinny. So, if we're lucky. It'll come. It'll come apart. This is always like the worst part right here, getting these little keepers out. So it's in the strip. No, that one didn't. Or did it? Come on. Sucks. All right, I need. Since I redid everything in here, it's hard for me to find my tools. So I haven't got it organized yet. So I have to think about it. And where did I stick my tools? Looks like a good spot to start. That might be it right there. I gotta put my drawer guides in. Let's see. That feels good. Oh man. <laughs> Crud. All right, bear with me for a second. All right, you guys, so that's not happening. I'm going to go ahead and use it anyways because it's sitting on the gear. It's just not sitting where I want it to sit on the gear. So I'm just going to use it for now. I think. Oh, man. Yeah, that's not going to fly. All right. So that means... I gotta fight that out of that gear. That's gonna suck. Wonder if this one's gonna come off easy or what. Well, that's been on there for freaking 35 years and came right off. I just put that one on not too long ago and it stuck. Kind of tells you how things have changed over the years. Alright, we got our pinion gear. Just in the graveyard. And keep moving forward to do that. We're going to have to do some video editing because the camera is literally going to die and I don't have a power cord with me. So, I don't know if I have enough time 
Looks like I may have enough time to go get a power cord. We'll try that. All right, so we're in luck. I got a power cord. But the bad luck is I got to get that pinion gear off this motor. So let's see what that's going to entail. It doesn't look stripped is the problem. The problem is all these little Allen wrenches are done. Crud. Like... Not cool with me, man. There's two ways I can go about this. One way is I destroy the motor, and the other way is it comes right off. So. Just looking for a couple things. That is tight. That's not working. And my little pliers. Oh, been looking for that. So what I'm going to attempt to do, you see it's stripped out, so I'm going to try to squeeze it with these pliers to maybe, just maybe, get enough bite to get that thing out of there. It's not looking too promising. I had done it. Wow, man. It's going to be a nightmare. I really don't want to screw up this pinion gear. I don't know where the handle is for my Allen wrench either. Hmm. All right. It wants to get tough. So, where's the drill bit? Figures I'd lose the drill bit. All right, you guys, just bear with me for a minute. All right, that was a pain, but I got it done. I tore it off. I didn't bend the shaft, so I'm good. <clears throat> oh, 
Let's get this thing lined up. Beautiful. A little bit more. Just like that. This little car's gonna rip, dude. It's gonna go fast and be fun. Or it's gonna break. <laughs> Probably a little bit of both. Alright, so. Tighten this guy up. Is that the right size Allen wrench? Which is this one. Like I said, I lost my handle to Allen wrench, so. All right. Now we'll put the motor screws back into it, get the ESC put in, and we have to steal a controller for something, but that's no big deal. So bear with me for a minute, and we will get that done. All right, guys, so we got the ESC in, and we're going to zip tie these wires down real quick. And dig out a controller real quick, and then we'll run it real quick. And we'll see what this old school stuff was all about. Well, technically it's not like it used to be. we got a high-performance motor in it and a LiPo battery. But we're still going to see. All right, so we need a controller. So we'll rob somebody. I'll take it out of my crawler. Um, all right. And I'll go. steering hopefully it works and hopefully I hooked it up right I think I did all right Get a little dab of hot glue on this guy I use this high performance hot glue because it works and it's easy to Take on and off, sort of. Can be messy though. There's a bunch of guys that would argue this. But I'm all right with it. All right, now I'll get my controller out and we'll take it for a test run. So let me dig that out. All right, so we got our controller out. Battery doesn't sound like it's fully charged. We'll take it for a spin. You guys hold on a second, I'll get the camera position. All right, you guys, we got it on the floor and I think this ESC has seen better days. Oh, 
I think this would make a good drift car. We made the old dusty stuff work, you guys. I'll do a better video in the morning. When it's daylight, we'll do a better video with this car. We'll take it out on the street. Let me back up that camera view for you guys, if I can. There we go. I don't have any room to actually... ...give it any goose. I don't know if it's the, the, I'm pretty sure it's the ESC's messing up on this thing. Came out of an old car, so. Definitely wants to spin the tires, though. Guys, old dusty stuff's working. Okay, keep the dust out of those tires. That's crazy. So we'll get a we'll get a full run with it tomorrow. So you guys, I'm posting this video right now tonight. It's pretty late. I'll go ahead and post the video, and we'll run it tomorrow. And I'll I'll, I'll dig out some other cars and run them too. So be prepared to see another video pop up in the morning. And, uh, yeah, we'll get some run. All right. Like always, like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you on track.